One of the biggest challenges that people were wrestling with, if you go all the way back to March of April of last year, was what is going to happen with the earnings in our business? And at that time, one of the statistics that we found is that 75% of those who were surveyed in the, in the research felt that their earnings were going to be substantially impacted. And as many of us know, the, the realities of ownership transfer in our industry is that most transfers happen internally and selling your equity either to your employees or family members. And so a disruption in earnings leads to a significant delay in the ability to transfer equity and the ability to develop the next generation. While the survey data revealed current trends, especially in regard to the impact of COVID-19 on ownership transfer, it also validated consistent themes that we've seen in our 60 plus year history of helping guide construction related businesses in succession planning. And those three timeless principles when it comes to succession management are start early. And we can't emphasize that enough, the importance of beginning your transition plan anywhere from seven to 10 years before you actually plan to transition. That's essential in order to allow equity transfer to happen because most transfers happen internally. And it also gives you a chance to be able to evaluate and develop your talent in a way that you get to observe and watch them over the course of multiple years and see if they can develop into future business leaders. And the last piece that's often overlooked and underaccounted for is the emotional impact of making a significant transition. We work with leaders consistently who have this belief that once they transition out, they'll just naturally find a sense of purpose and a sense of meaning in their lives. And if you don't have a clear answer to that question, we find that can be highly disruptive with many leaders if you haven't wrestled with that big question first, and many tend to avoid it.